Hello, my name is Jakub Dunin-Borkowski and uh, in uh, today's class we are going to talk about the phonology of English dialects. So um, we are going to be talking about uh, the dialectal differences um, in pronunciation in sounds. The dialects we are going to discuss are general American, which is a more of a cover term than a particular dialect. Um, and so is Irish English and Australian English. They are um, groups of varieties that are that share some common features, but this is not to say that all the citizens of these countries uh, speak in the same manner and uh, the fourth dialect is a uh, received pronunciation this is a dialect spoken by the queen by the bbc journalists and it is taught in schools uh, it is not um, a dialect spoken by the majority of uh, of the british and so i put a flag of uh, which is a royal standard rather than the flag of the united kingdom or england to represent this dialect. Um, the first uh, feature um, we are going to discuss is the roticity, which can be defined as the pronunciation of R, R sound in all contexts. In words such as R, together, prepared, uh, when I pronounce it like this, we can hear the R. Um, and so we can divide the, the dialects into two groups. The rhotic dialects, which pronounce the R sound in all contexts, and the non rhotic dialects. Uh, these are the dialects that pronounce the R only before vowels, mm, in short. So the rhotic dialects would, uh, in, in rhotic dialect, these words would be R, together, prepared, and in non rhotic dialects, it would sound more like R, together, prepared. Uh, so let's hear our first native speaker. Uh, the Queen says, Together we are tackling this disease. This is uh, RP, as we can see in the slide, and let's pay attention to the R's, together and R. Together we are tackling this disease. Uh, as you can probably hear, she says together and ah. So uh, RP would be a non rhotic dialect. And uh, here, let's contrast the RP pronunciation with the pronunciation of Donald Trump. Uh, he says, we are all in this together. So let's pay attention to the word together. How does Donald Trump pronounce his ours? We are all in this together. He says a soft r, but there is a r together. So uh, general American is a rhotic dialect and RP is a non rhotic dialect. So in the general American, we have R together prepared, and in RP, we have R together prepared. Uh, and what about uh, Irish English? Here, our native speaker says, We are in this together. And let's hear the R. We are in this together. Here, the, the R is very prominent. He says, Together, right? Um, so this is a, a rhotic dialect and Australian English, our native speaker says, we are well prepared and we are well equipped to deal with it. And let's hear the R's. We are well prepared and we are well equipped to deal with it. So he says we are well prepared and we are well equipped. So he doesn't pronounce the R's. In, in before uh, consonants, right? So um, we would uh, say that Irish English is a rhotic dialect and Australian English in a, is a non-rhotic dialect. Um, 
The second feature we are going to discuss is the pronunciation of um, the standard diphthong, but as we can see, in, we will see in a couple of uh, seconds, not all of the dialects pronounce the diphthong. So in the words such as home, or globe, or global, those, the vowel, this O vowel, is a diphthong, right? Um, but it is not pronounced in the same way in all uh, dialects. So we have four possibilities. The first one is uh, something like O, so home, globe, global, those. The second is O, globe, global, those. The third one is long O, globe, those, home. And the fourth one is something like ow, glow, global, those. And let's hear our native speakers. The queen uh, says, this time we join with all nations across the globe. So let's hear, uh, let's pay attention to the word glow. This time we join with all nations across the globe. Globe. She says something like globe. So RP would pronounce this uh, sound as O. And um, let's hear the word global uh, from an American speaker. Today, the WHO officially announced that this is a global pandemic. Today, the World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. Global pandemic. Global. Right? So he pronounces it O. Glo. Global. Um, the long O and ow. We are left with these two. So let's hear the Irish speaker. Mm, the journalist says the semi-lockdown severely affected families here, especially those with critical illnesses. So the word those is interesting to us here. The semi-lockdown severely affected families here, especially those with critical illnesses. And once more, because this is very prominent. The semi-lockdown severely affected families here, especially those with critical illnesses especially those with critical illnesses. So in Ireland, these words are pronounced globe, global, those. Of course, as I said uh, earlier, this is not the case in all of the speakers of these countries, but uh, it is something characteristic. It might happen. So those in Ireland. So the last one, as we can See, we have uh, Australian English, and uh, the speaker says, Tonight I want to talk to you about the global coronavirus. So let's hear the uh, word global. Tonight I want to talk to you about the global coronavirus. It is very soft and uh, subtle, but he doesn't uh, say neither global, neither uh, nor global. He doesn't say global. He says global. Some, it is exa exaggerated but uh, in my pronunciation, but uh, he says something like global. It is a bit different. And here we have um, this sound, the classification of dialects. And uh, to repeat, rhodicity are together prepared. The rhotic dialects are GA uh, and Irish English, and the non rhotic dialects are RP and Australian English. And uh, the last thing uh, we can discuss uh, in such a short time is the diphthong A, the standard A, it's in words such as case or stage, slate, update. So the sound A, it can be pronounced as A, of course. Uh, it can be pronounced as long A or as a diphthong I. Um, so let's hear our first native speaker. In general, American, um, the journalist says we've uh, we've started this last stage of testing. They've started this last stage of testing. 
and this is very clear she says stage and the same would go for rp stage slate update case the a diphthong is pronounced equally in rp and ga and uh, let's hear our uh, irish speaker we've now reached the stage also with delineation of slates We've now reached the stage also with the delineation of slates. Let's hear it once more, paying attention to the underlined words. We've now reached the stage also with delineation of slates. Slates, slates, right? So stage, slate, long E uh, in Ireland. And the last one, with a native speaker of Australian English says, thanks for joining us here this morning for an update on something. So update, this is the word. Thanks for joining us here this morning for an update on. Once more, because this is very. Uh... Thanks for joining us here this morning for an update on. Update. So in Australia, we can hear stage, slide, update, something like this. Uh, and this would be the classification for this diphthong with this sound. And uh, here we have a summary diphthongs home, 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 home. Uh, the diphthong A uh, below, uh, case, uh, case or case, and the roticity, rhotic dialect and non rhotic dialects. Mm. And this would be all for today. We had very little time. So of course there are more dialectal differences. Uh, if someone is interested, these are some of them. Uh, and you can refer to the liter literature, um, the books I found about uh, dialects of English. And uh, thank you very much for participating and uh, goodbye.